As it is time for Who. Okay, uh, if you need a refresher, guys, it goes like this. I give you three famous people who have something in common. Then I give you a semi-obscure factoid from their Wikipedia page. You have to tell me who that factoid belongs to. Mm -hmm. You cannot use the process of elimination because there is no guarantee that anybody has a factoid chosen. If anybody goes three for three, you get the relish currently being guarded by Tommy Lee Jones in our refrigerator. Okay, I'm going to show you our three subjects we have today and see if you can figure out what they have oh, in common. Oh, what's the thread? Okay. We have for you Liam Neeson, Cheryl Crow, or Cheryl Crow as some people like to call her, and John Hamm. Okay, so it's not the birthday thing. No, it's not birthdays. Mm. Okay. Although, hmm. I don't know. According to urban legend, Liam Neeson and John Hamm have something in common, but that's not uh, what we're talking about. Okay, what? If you know, you know. Today is National Teachers Day, and they were all teachers. Oh, no way! Oh, they that's were all awesome. teachers before becoming famous. Had no idea. Very cool. Yeah. Here we go. Question right. number one: Who was an all-state track and field athlete in high school? Mm. I'm gonna go with John Hamm. Me too. Uh -huh. You guys are all on John Hamm. Yeah. John Hamm just looks athletic, he does. doesn't he? Yeah. He just looks like a strapping, strapping guy. He played three sports in high school mm -hmm. as well, so he is athletic. Liam Neeson was a boxer. He won championships, like regional championships mm -hmm. as a boxer. Oh. He also even had a cup of tea in professional soccer. Great athlete. Mm -hmm. But in Ireland, they don't have that whole all-state thing, you know. I don't okay. know how they do it, you know. So. Cheryl Crow, on the other hand, was a majorette in high school. Oh. oh. Also won a medal in the 75-meter low hurdles and was all-state. Really? Really? Did I answer up the whole time? Not the whole time, but like as soon as you said her name, it popped up. Oh. <laughs> but we had already made our guess, so it's okay. Yeah, it's so okay. It's okay. All right, so everybody got that one wrong. Yeah. Uh, so the relish, so, is, safe. Uh, the relish is safe this morning. Is, it, <laughs> is the relish gone? Is it <laughs> because remember, Cody took it. Oh, that's right. No, but he brought it back. Because he won? He did? Yeah. Oh. No, he took it on the road for his Cody oh, Caravan. God. But he brought it back. But he brought it back? Well, let's Hang just on, pick guys. something else. We have a mystery. How about the Greek yogurt? And even um, <laughs> All right, Tommy's, you, Tommy's face is gone. Yeah, now you get the Greek yogurt. All right, okay. question number two. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Who punched a student oh. when they were a teacher? Oh, oh. Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson, yeah. yeah. He, I, he looks like he doesn't yeah, suffer. Yeah, he's Everybody's on Liam Neeson, huh? Cranky. Uh, Cheryl Crow <laughs> seems sweet. Uh-oh. But well, she's got, you know, she doesn't take any you-know-what. Yeah. She's got some edge to yeah. her. Yeah, yeah. John Hamm was arrested. Oh. For a violent hazing incident when he was a student at the University of Texas. Oh, oh, yeah, it was some fraternity thing, and he got arrested. Oh. So in this case, a student pulled a knife. Oh, and the teacher responded by saying, "I don't know who you are. <laughs> I don't know what you want." <laughs> it was Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. Who punched this. By the way, Liam Neeson, not a small guy. But he said he feared for his life. Well. Since I kind of hmm. yeah. side with the teacher. If you're looking for ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Final question. Okay. You guys all got that one right, by the yeah. way. Uh, who ended up working in showbiz with a former student? Oh. So somebody oh. that they taught. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ended okay. up working together on a yeah. in hmm. showbiz. Liam Neeson. I'm gonna say Cheryl on this one, and I'm gonna say John. Ooh, oh, somebody got it. Somebody here is correct, uh -huh. unless I really screwed this up. <laughs> uh, Cheryl Crow taught music. Okay. She has done in her career duets with Chris Stapleton, oh. uh, Toby Mack, the Christian rap artist, mm -hmm. and Kid Rock. Mm. Okay. Liam Neeson is one of the many great actors from Ireland. Mm -hmm. So is Colin Farrell. Mm. But it had to be weird for Ellie Kemper when Mr. Ham showed up on the set of the Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt to guest star on the show. He was her he was her acting teacher in high school. Oh, very cool. And then he left the job to go to Hollywood. He becomes John Ham, she yeah. becomes Ellie Kemper, and then they oh, and, then and, they were and then they're on an episode of Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Well, did you get that one? You got that one? She I did. did. Good job. Good job, Lou. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Oh that was Wicked. Wicked. Ooh. I'm gonna go look for the relish. It's yeah, around here you somewhere. Do it. This is an insult. <laughs> and Tommy Lee's face. Oh, well, we'll now, we have, now apparently we have soy sauce. Oh, wow. Well, that might work. We'll be back on the other side of this condiment break. People will actually use this, though, here. <laughs> That's true. That's going to run out. <laughs>